biodegradable plastics and microplastics, debunking myths. Title, Biodegradable Plastics and Microplastics, Debunking Myths Introduction, 150 Words The issue of plastic pollution has gained significant attention in recent years, with growing concerns about its detrimental impact on the environment. Consequently, research and development efforts have sought to find sustainable alternatives to conventional single-use plastics. Biodegradable plastics have emerged as a promising solution, offering a potential way to reduce plastic waste. However, are, in the discourse surrounding biodegradable plastics, misconceptions and myths have arisen, particularly around their relationship with microplastics. In this article, we aim to debunk common myths. Surrounding biodegradable plastics and microplastics, shedding light on the realities of these materials and their environmental implications. 1. Understanding Biodegradable Plastics, 400 Words These conditions typically involve exposure to moisture, heat, and microorganisms found in soil or water. However, it is important to note that not all biodegradable plastics are equal. 2. Debunking Myth 1, Biodegradable Plastics Can Solve Plastic Pollution, 350 Words One common misconception about biodegradable plastics is that they can effortlessly solve the issue of plastic pollution in our oceans and landfills. While biodegradable plastics can break down fast, are then traditional plastics, they are not a complete solution. Firstly, biodegradable plastics require specific environmental conditions to degrade, which may not be available in marine environments. Or conventional landfills. In the absence of these conditions, they could persist in the environment just like regular plastics. Therefore, proper disposal systems, such as industrial composting fossi, Lidies are essential for their effective degradation. 3. Debunking Myth 2 Biodegradable plastics do not contribute to microplastic pollution, 350 words. Another prevalent myth about biodegradable plastics is that they do not contribute to the ever growing problem of microplastic pollution. Microplastics are tiny plastic particles, measuring less than. 5 mm in size, that have significant environmental impacts. While biodegradable plastics may break down into smaller pieces, the degradation process does not necessarily eliminate the production of me. Crop plastics entirely? In fact, the fragmentation of biodegradable plastics can lead to the generation of microplastics, albeit potentially in lesser quantities compared to traditional plastics. There. 4. It is crucial to manage and control the use and disposal of biodegradable plastics to prevent their contribution to microplastic pollution. 4. Balancing Benefits and Challenges, 400 Words Biodegradable plastics offer several advantages over traditional plastics, such as reduced use of fossil fuels and carbon emissions during production. These materials also provide opportunities to duh. Increase plastic waste accumulation. However, it is important to consider the challenges associated with biodegradable plastics. For instance, the process of producing bio-based plastics often requires agricultural resources, potentially competing with food production. Furthermore, some biodegradable plastics can only degrade effectively in specific conditions, necessitating proper waste management. Key infrastructure to ensure their complete breakdown. 5. Importance of proper waste management, 250 words. To address the issue of both conventional and biodegradable plastics, it is crucial to establish efficient waste management systems. By adopting a comprehensive approach to waste management, we can e. 
effectively minimize plastic pollution and strive for a more sustainable future. 6. Examining Current Research, 350 Words Ongoing research and studies are continuously adding to our understanding of biodegradable plastics and their impact on the environment. This research is vital in informing the development of more SU. Sustainable Materials and Improving Waste Management Systems One area of focus is the assessment of the biodegradability of different types of biodegradable plastics. Researchers are studying the degradation rates of these materials under different conditions. To determine their potential environmental impact, this information is crucial in establishing guidelines and standards for the proper disposal and management of biodegradable plastics. Additionally, studies are investigating the potential risks associated with microplastic pollution, including the harm they can cause to marine organisms and ecosystems. It is important to understand the extent to which biodegradable plastics contribute to microplastic pollution and the associated environmental consequences. This knowledge can help guide policymakers and stakeholders in making I. Inform decisions and implementing effective strategies to reduce microplastic pollution. 7. The Role of Legislative Measures, 300 Words Legislation plays a significant role in addressing plastic pollution, including the use and disposal of biodegradable plastics. Governments around the world are implementing regulations and policies. To promote the use of sustainable materials and encourage proper waste management practices. Some countries have introduced bans or restrictions on certain types of single-use plastics. These measures aim to reduce the overall consumption of plastics and promote the adoption of more sustaina. Play alternatives, including biodegradable plastics. However, it is crucial for policymakers to consider the potential implications and unintended consequences of these measures. Regulatory Frameworks should be based on scientific evidence and take into account the full life cycle of plastics to ensure their effectiveness in achieving environmental goals. In addition to regulations, governments are implementing initiatives to improve waste management infrastructure. This includes investing in recycling facilities, establishing collection systems for B. I degradable plastics and promoting the development of composting facilities. By providing the necessary infrastructure, governments can facilitate the proper disposal and degradation of biodegradable. The plastics minimizing their environmental impact. Furthermore, legislative measures can incentivize innovation and the development of more sustainable materials. Governments can offer tax incentives or grants to businesses and researchers working on. Eco-friendly alternatives to conventional plastics. These initiatives encourage investment in green technologies and support the transition towards a circular economy, where resources are used more. Efficiently, and waste is minimized. Examining current research, continued. Another important aspect of current research is the evaluation of the effectiveness of different degradation processes for biodegradable plastics. Scientists are studying various methods, such as bio, logical and chemical degradation, to determine which processes yield the best results in terms of complete breakdown and environmental safety. This knowledge is crucial in guiding the development of Standardized degradation techniques and ensuring that biodegradable plastics can be effectively managed and disposed of. Additionally, researchers are exploring the potential for bio-based plastics to replace conventional plastics in various applications. This involves assessing the mechanical properties, durability, a 
ND cost effectiveness of bio-based plastics compared to traditional plastics. Understanding the feasibility of using biodegradable plastics in different industries and sectors is key to promoting the ear adoption on a larger scale. Furthermore, the long-term effects of microplastic pollution are being investigated. Scientists are studying the impacts of microplastics on marine organisms, ecosystems, and even human health. This research aims to provide a comprehensive understanding of the environmental consequences of microplastic pollution and to inform policy decisions. The role of legislative measures continued. Legislation plays a crucial role in addressing the use and disposal of biodegradable plastics. Governments around the world are implementing regulations and policies to promote sustainable materials and waste management practices. Some countries have introduced bans or restrictions on certain single-use plastics, including non-biodegradable options. These measures aim to reduce plastic consumption and encourage the use of envy.